Welcome to video number two in the fresh properties test of concrete. In this video, we're going to talk about the unit weight, or ASTM C138. And this test measures the density. That's the mass divided by the volume of concrete. And this can be used to figure out what the unit weight is. And compare it to maybe your idealized unit weight. That would be the unit weight that you would calculate based on the concrete mix design. It's also extremely useful to evaluate how consistent your concrete is. It's typically done with a bucket that has a quarter cubic foot volume. This test is pretty easy to do. You add concrete, you consolidate it in a standard manner, and then you level the surface. Now this test allows you to use a bar or a plate. It says you can use either one, but I'm not a big fan of the bar. You're actually going to find that you get very, very consistent numbers if you use the plate and you start to get variable numbers. It's very user dependent if you use a bar. So I'm a big fan of the plate and I suggest you use it as well. So this test is extremely useful, again, like I said, to measure consistency. However, the bad thing is there's many things that can influence the results. So if all of a sudden one mix is different than another, you don't really know what's going on. For example, if any ingredient in the concrete changes the weight by approximately 1%, then this unit weight, this mass per volume, is going to detect this. It's going to pick it up. And this is even true about the air volume in the concrete. This is actually an especially useful way to track how the air volume changes inside the concrete. So if the air volume changes, for example, from 3% to 4%, then the unit weight is gonna detect it. We'll talk about more about air volume coming up because it's a big deal when you talk about fresh property testing. And it's really useful to plot how the unit weight changes for repeat concrete mixtures over time. So for example, I've got the unit weight shown here. I've got 150 to 145 pounds per cubic foot. And I've got mixed number. This might be mixed numbers going along here. They're pretty consistent, pretty consistent pretty consistent, pretty consistent, and all of a sudden one jumps way down and then it's back up. So there's an outlier. Something happened with that mix. This unit weight, again, lets you know that something's not quite right. With the unit weight test, there's only a few challenges with it. Number one, it requires that you usually have to have a battery-powered scale in the field also needs to be accurate to about 0.1 pound, okay? And most quality control testers don't have this. Now, why? I don't really know, because this test is great. I think everyone should have this. And if you find an outlier um, in your data, then you don't really know what causes it. I said this before. For example, the scales that are used to weigh the rock, the sand, the cement, or fly ash, they can be off by plus or minus 2% from the theoretical batched value. These scales can be off. They're not perfect. But the good thing is, is that you usually know how much they are off. They usually tell you if they're a little bit high or a little bit low and about how far they're off. But because of this, some things may be too low and others may, may be too high. And you wouldn't know if you just used the theoretical unit weights compare it to, but there's a secret here. But in my opinion, I don't think either one of these things are too big of a deal. I think we can overcome both of them. For example, getting scales in the field is not that hard. It's a few hundred dollars, okay? And also the concrete batch plant might not hit this perfect theoretical design unit weight every time or design weight every time, but it does measure how much material it added. And it also knows the volume that it tried to add. So because of that, from this two information, it could actually calculate a, a, a batched unit weight, what the unit weight should be based on what the air content is, or it could guess several air contents. This is not that hard. This could be a really powerful addition, can really help people out. Again, if this is on the batch ticket, you could compare it to what you measured in your actual unit weight test. And I think this is a huge missed opportunity and something that we need to do as a concrete industry in the future. Take care.